Nós estamos no abrigo do Lagar Velho, no Vale do Lapeso, a cerca de 150 km a norte de Lisboa, e é aqui que foi descoberto a famosa criança do Lapeso, em 1998. Foi aqui que foi, há 29 mil anos, depositado uh, o corpo desta criança. During the excavation, we had noted that uh, there were some weird aspects of the child's anatomy. When we found the mandible, we knew that this was going to be a modern human child. And when we exposed the entire skeleton and started to look at it, this modern human child with a very nice chin has some, you know, Neanderthal body proportions. Something strange is going on here, right? The only thing that made sense to explain the combination of features was that this uh, child, in fact, was evidence for uh, Neanderthal and modern humans having admixed. If you put yourself back in how people thought about human evolution in the late 1990s, Neanderthals and modern humans were supposed to be different species and therefore interbreeding was out of the question. 90% of our colleagues were of the opinion that we were, you know, just a bit crazy, you know, in proposing uh, such an interpretation. Estamos a lidar com comunidades humanas de caçadores-recoletores, que são por natureza nómadas. O grupo abriu uma depressão no solo, queimou uma ramada de pinheiros de silvestre e é sobre essas cinzas que é depositada a criança. Ela vai embrulhada numa mortalha tingida com ocre. Não se sabe se era um rapaz se era uma rapariga. Embora haja alguns indícios que pudesse ser, de facto, do, do sexo masculino, mas a criança não apresentava no seu esqueleto qualquer indício que nos pudesse apontar uma determinada doença ou uma queda. Não, não havia nada disso. Podemos imaginar múltiplos cenários que a criança terá comido um cogumelo, terá morrido afogada. Este sítio onde nós estamos não era um sítio arqueológico, em 1998. O proprietário deste terreno resolveu fazer uma terraplanagem, colocou uma retroescavadora que removeu os sedimentos que se encontravam uh, a 2 e a 3 metros acima de onde eu estou. For Sheolak, the terracing of the site stopped within 2 inches, you know, 5 centimeters of the burial. And the machine doing the work hit the, the cranium, the skull, you know, broke it and it scattered it in the surrounding area. But otherwise, the burial pit was intact and the skeleton was found almost, you know, 90% complete. Once the uh, salvage operation was complete, the bones were removed to the uh, National Museum in Lisbon, where we are today, and their study uh, began. The leg bones were shorter than they should be for a child that age. How come the legs look like a Neanderthal? You know, some of the teeth look like Neanderthal, the others look like more than human. How do you explain this? But we were not very convinced if this were such a unique, rare, a sporadic event, the chances of us, you know, 30,000 years later finding that one event were, you know, like the chances of finding life on some planet. We knew that in the Iberian Peninsula, the time of contact was somewhat later than north of the Pyrenees, about 37,000 years ago. So if the skeleton dated to about that, you know, the first hypothesis could work. But if the child turned out to be much later in time, then the implication necessarily had to be that we were dealing with a process at the population level, not two individuals in randomly encountering it. If so many millennia after the time of contact, people living in this part of the world still bore anatomical evidence of this ancestral Neanderthal population. The implication had to be that uh, interbreeding not, did not just happen, was the norm. The fact that we had such solid 
evidence forced people to think about what we were saying. It was not just, you know, an isolated bone, something that could be, you know, explained by many different alternative interpretations. No, this was a complete skeleton. Basically, the implication is Neanderthals were not a different species. We've been over-interpreting the minor differences in the facial skeleton or in robustness of the skeleton. This very popular notion, in, which is still very much around, that Neanderthals were some you know, form of retarded brutes that have nothing to do with humans. That does not mean that in every one of us, that two to four percent is the same. In fact, if you pull together all the parts of the Neanderthal genome that are still around, uh, that's almost like 50 to 70 percent of what was specifically Neanderthal. So the Neanderthal genome has persisted almost in its entirety. Consideration of this ancestry enriches our understanding of human evolution. Whereas saying, no, no, we only descend from a very tiny, small population that 250,000 years ago lived somewhere in Africa and everybody else who, have it, who lived at the time just disappeared, vanished. The discipline of prehistory and the Paleolithic in particular developed first in Central and Northern Europe. And so we still have an image of what those peoples were like that is based in the archaeological record from France, Germany, Austria. In reality, it's a distorted image. The Paleolithic peoples of France and Germany were like the Eskimo of their time. Most people lived to the south because it was more sheltered from the cold climates and also it was less affected by the uh, sea level rise that started taking place 10,000 years ago at the end of the Ice Age. But in Iberia in particular, investigation started much later and, and grew slowly. And it's only in the last quarter of a century that we're starting to make discoveries that change everything. Este sítio é um vale em canhão, tem paredes verticais muito altas e por isso mesmo são muito protegidas. Seria um lugar muito apoativo, não é? Há abrigo, há água e há animais, que são os animais que as pessoas viriam aqui caçar. Aqui podem ver um osso que é uma mandíbula de um viado, que ainda ficou aqui preservada no perfil. Saíram cerca de 20 mil restos que nós temos agora de, de estudar para tentar compreender melhor qual era a ocupação que teve aqui o lugar. Temos os instrumentos utilizados para o esquartejamento, o tratamento das carcaças. Temos indícios de fogo de grandes lareiras que estavam relacionadas com essas atividades domésticas. É uma honra para nós não só ter participado nesses trabalhos, mas sobretudo continuar a desvendar o que este abrigo tem eh, escondido não é, por baixo destes sedimentos. The most important thing that is going to happen in the next decades is that there will be a lot more fossils found in many geographical areas that so far have been in you know, like black holes. When we have a more complete record of temporal and geographic variation, we will have a much better understanding even than what we have today.